Lastly, CBD promotes bone mass. We have known this for a while. Typically, the CBG and the CBN molecules, cannabigerol and cannabinol, have been known to promote bone mass. And it does this by blocking the orphan receptor, the GPR55 signaling, so that CBD can decrease bone reabsorption. So what is bone reabsorption? It's basically osteoarthritis. Bone reabsorption is the process by which osteoclasts break down the tissue in the bones and release minerals like calcium from the bones into the blood. It's basically that's the process of osteoarthritis. CBD helps to curtail this. It helps to prevent this and stop this. Of course, you must have good quality protein in your body or your body's not going to heal. Of course, you need to sleep in order for your body to heal. If you're not sleeping, you're not healing. Of course, you need to drink plenty of clean water. I'm not talking bottled water from Costco. I've talked about this in many, many videos. Good, clean, quality water, okay? So this GPR55 gene belongs to a G-protein coupled receptor. It's involved in several physiological and pathological processes by activating a variety of signal transduction pathways. Very cool stuff on how our body and brain is allowing CBD to work so well. And why do we have no contraindications? Because CBD is a no susceptor, causes no harm, works with your immune system. We do know and we're learning that CBD does influence some prescription medications. But would you rather be on three prescription medications that have side effects or would you rather be on just pure natural CBD from God's green earth? that helps to balance the body, okay? So again, a quick recap on our dosing guide. Everyone should always be cautious with their use of CBD and you always wanna get it at a high quality material at a reputable place. There is no specific amount for each person. Each person's unique like a snowflake. Start with a specific dose and monitor for two to three days, see how you feel. Here in the store, we talk to people between starting at 10 to 5 to 10 milligrams basically for most people. Some people will start at 20, but we pretty much say between 5 and 10 milligrams is where you want to start. Do that for a couple of three days, see how your body responds. If you don't feel anything at all, bump it up to 10 to 20 milligrams a day. This is fairly average for most people. If the condition remains, double the dose. If you have some benefit, increase it by 50%. And CBD is not cheap, so only use what your body needs. We have a lot of people that come into the store and they've got a note in their hand from a doctor saying, go see John, you've got irritable bowel syndrome and go get 50 milligrams of CBD a day. So get a thousand milligram bottle and take 50 milligrams a day to help clear up that IBS. And we, don't ne we never start anyone at 50 milligrams. That's too much. Some people will get dysbiosis from that. Some people will have a little bit of loose stool from that. We always start low, 5 to 10 milligrams, and then to always titrate as needed. And you can always increase your dose just at night before bed for a sleep aid. Okay? So, some of the things we've seen direct results from with CBD, asthma, acne, Alzheimer's, anxiety, arthritis, bursitis, all these conditions, depression, epilepsy, and seizures, gout, irritable bowel syndrome, Parkinson's. We've seen a lot of people that have had tics and tremors and shakes, motor skill uh, problems with uh, their, their joints or their muscles contracting and tending to cause tics and involuntary movements. We've seen amazing results from it. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, from whatever event might have occurred in someone's life, we've seen a lot of people get great relief. So hopefully this has helped you guys. Appreciate the time. Sorry this video went a little bit long, but I thought it was worthy of sharing. Thanks.